everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. Let's make some wonky triangle quilt blocks today. I have my triangle fabric, I have my background fabric. Let's go ahead and get started. I have two scrap pieces of fabric here. I'm gonna cut three triangles out. And the great thing about these wonky triangles is that they can be any size or shape of triangle that you want. And I want some of mine to be, you know, nice and skinny and tall, maybe some to be a little wider, but I'm gonna kinda just randomly cut here. Remember, you're gonna to wanna to take into account your seam allowance, so these triangles will become a little bit smaller than whatever you cut them out to be. Here's my first one. Let's cut two more. And it looks like I don't even need that other scrap piece. I can just do all my triangles right out of this one here. Here are my three triangles. These two, they are, they are all kind of the same shape, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. I wanted them to be all kind of different, but this is fine too. So I'm gonna take these extra pieces, throw them into my crumb bin. This one too will go in the crumbs. And now you wanna take your background fabric. And I'm going to cut a strip to go on one side of each of my triangles any side and again I'm just eyeing this I'm not I'm not measuring so I'll tell you what my strips ended up being this one is about one two three four four and a half let's see this one is about four and about three and a half but again yours can be any size so take your first triangle any one Pick a side to sew this onto. I'll just sew it onto this long side here. And you're going to want to have enough so that, you know, you don't want it right up against the end here because when you go to square this off, you'll have a missing spot. So you want it to go over so that it'll, it'll fully cover the triangle after you've sewn it. So that looks about good there. I'm gonna sew my first one. I've sewn my piece on with my 1 4 inch seam. This is a petite, so it's the same on the front and the back. And then I've, I've ironed this open. Now I'm going to trim a straight edge along the sides of the triangle that do not have a strip attached. I'm gonna do this for the other two triangles, same thing. Here I have my three triangles a strip attached to one side of each triangle. Now I'm going to attach another strip to a second side of each triangle. It doesn't matter which side, as long as it's a side that is open. You know, you wouldn't attach another piece over here. You'd either attach a piece here or here. All my triangles now have two pieces of background attached. Just like the first one, I'm going to trim each side. Now I have one big triangle. I'm gonna do that with the other two as well. My three triangle pieces are trimmed and now we need to do some thinking and some moving of things around. So what I had initially thought, which I'm not gonna do, is that now that you have these two pieces, you would take a strip, attach it to one, and then attach the other. So you'd have a strip in between here. But this is too symmetrical, I don't like that. I want it to be more wonky like, like this, you know? kind of all over the place. So how can we make that happen? Maybe if we attach it this way, and then that would kind of be random and over there. And then you could attach one, something like that. I'm not sure, let's see, what else could we do? We could move this one kind of like this. And that's too similar. We want wonky, we don't want things to be all pretty and lined up. about this? We could attach this piece to here and then attach this piece to here. Let's try that. So first I'm going to attach this to here. 
these pieces are now attached and let's see I don't want this too much here because that will be be too much the same you want to move it down maybe right about here which means I'll need to trim off this little piece down here and then if you take a look at this so here what we can do is if this tip here is a little bit higher up than the tip of our inner triangle we can cut straight up here and this triangle will be completely encased in background this triangle will also be completely encased in background and then what we'll need to do is to add a strip down here all of our triangles are now encased in background we need to decide uh, which direction this is going to be and for me you know having this be the bottom and this be the top like this kind of makes the most sense so let's square this up to do that I'm going to find a yellow line on my cutting mat and trim now I'll flip this around so that this edge is along one of the yellow lines now we're going to have to add some background onto some pieces once this, once this is all trimmed up, but that's okay. Now I'm going to flip it so that the straight edge is along a horizontal line. And one more time. I need to add pieces here and here. I have this nice big piece. I'll attach it right onto here. How about that? I'll attach that piece onto there. And then we're gonna do something fun, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna add something to this that's gonna take it up a notch. Let's trim this up, and then we'll do something to make this block a little bit more interesting. It's a little boring right now. Let's do something radical, and let's cut a wonky line, like right, here through our block. Cutting our block into two pieces. Uh, let's find a good spot for it. How about like that? Then let's cut this upper piece as well. And notice I don't want to cut it directly parallel between these two. I want to make it wonky, as wonky as possible. So now we have three. What I wanna do is take a thin strip of this gold and put it in between these cuts. So let's attach these pieces first. We're gonna attach, you know what I just realized that I don't like, that I wish I had done differently? I don't like that now all these triangles are split up. I kind of wish that I had done something like kept those together and maybe made another like, I don't know, something different. I kind of wish I'd kept those together, but that's okay. It's too late now. It's already cut. Um, so we're just going to move forward. And, you know, sometimes accidental surprises end up being better than you were initially thought, and sometimes they don't. So we'll have to see how this turns out. But let's, uh, let's attach this one first. This piece is attached, it needs to be trimmed, but I had an idea. What if instead of putting this there yet, or maybe at all, what if I took a piece, now this is all I have of this, and it doesn't quite reach from one side to the other, but let me cut a big long triangle here and just think this through for a minute. So the longest triangle, I wanna get this triangle to be as long as possible. Now, can I insert this somehow? Into here. So, I think what I'd need to do is attach this triangle to this piece first. Why don't I attach 
a piece of background onto the back of this triangle first. So I'll attach a piece here, and then I'll attach this full piece to this full piece, and then we'll see where we're at. Now, I don't want the tip of my triangle to get cut off, so instead of putting this right up to the edge here like this and sewing, what I'm gonna do is move it back. I'm gonna move it back to about here and sew it on like that. What happened once I added this triangle is that this is no longer gonna be a square when I put it back together. It's going to be wonky. And though we love wonky, when we're trying to make quilt blocks, we want our ending quilt block to be squared off, not wonky. So let's see here. Let's attach these two pieces together first after I trim it, and then we'll see where we need to add some more. What if I put a strip of gold here? I'm liking this. So now I'll attach these pieces. And what I wanna take a look at is if I line this piece up and then this piece, if I take my ruler and see where this is gonna come down, I don't want the tip of this triangle to get cut off. So let's see how that does there. That should be plenty of room. So I like it, I think. Um, let's see, so this will be the top. I'll just square this up. Uh, but I think this is gonna work out. Is that the top? No. Yeah, it is. Shoot, something went wrong, I think, because what I'm seeing here is if I square this down this way, no, I don't lose the point. Good, I still don't lose the point. Excellent. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's square this up. But it's close. I have a little more than a fourth an inch there, but it's that's really close, but it'll be okay. And up here might be a little bit of an issue. Let's see what's going on. So, can you see up here? I'm gonna have to kind of come right down and hopefully that won't take out my triangle. Let's see. That should be good. It's again gonna be close, but I'll have a little bit, I'll have a little bit after the seam allowance. So the triangle won't be right up against it, but it is very close. Now I think we're gonna have to add some fabric over on this other side. Let's take a look and see. Yes, so we'll need to add some up here and some down here. I actually don't like how close this is to the edge there. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I should add a strip. I think I should. I'm gonna do that. So I'll add a strip here and then a piece here and here. My block is squared off. The only thing that I'm not liking is this strip here, how it kind of cuts off this ray of gold because uh, it looks like you know it kind of looks like a mistake like it was just kind of put on there at the last minute which it was but I don't want it to look that way so I want to do one more thing my idea that I think will make this look better is to cut right here and insert another little strip and I think that will that will look good so it'll go like right about here hopefully this doesn't ruin the whole block and me doing this last minute thing, but let's try it. The block is finished. I'm really happy with it. Let's measure it and see about how big it is. So it is about 17 long by 13 wide. And I love how these two blocks down here are kind of partners and then these ones are split up. First of all, I want to tell you that I officially have an Instagram account now. I think I'm the last one to the game, but another one bites the dust and I am on Instagram. I'm Mostly Quilts by Nora. Mostly Quilts was taken, which is a total bummer, but Mostly Quilts by Nora, N-O-R-A. I'll do my best to put a link in the description. Here's the block. It can go any which way. I really like it. Just kind of fun. When you do your blocks, They'll look totally different than my blocks. I think this would be really cool to have like little teeny teeny triangles all over the place. Um, or you could do one big triangle with like different colored triangles in the middle. Um, possibilities are endless. So check me out on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to Mostly Quilts on YouTube here. And I will see you next time. Bye.